Hi, welcome. I'm Gary Goldman. We're broadcasting from Gray, Gray, and Gray in Canton, Massachusetts. Thank you guys so much for having us. Today, our guest, uh, one of the partners at, at uh, Gray, Gray, and Gray, Mark Hesgadian. Welcome, Mark. It's great to be here, Gary. Thank you. Okay. Well, you were last on our show, I guess, uh, it was like November 2015. Uh, we're uh, part of the Five Star Food Show, and uh, we've been talking uh, recently, and you invited us down, and we, we set up a great all-star cast of uh, guests today, and, and we want to talk to you about what you've been doing the last few years and how you're impacting uh, the restaurant industry. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing lately? Oh, absolutely. Um, and this is, uh, we're looking forward to a really great day. We've got a lot of good people coming in, so uh, a lot to follow. But no, so um, at Gray, um, we have a restaurant niche. We've had a restaurant niche here now for many years. Um, the foundation of that niche is based on a client base of McDonald's owner operators, um, coast to coast. We were a regional firm many, many years ago, but as we've grown that niche, we now service McDonald's owner operators from Boston all the way to the West Coast. Um, currently have uh, service about uh, 100 owner operators representing a little over 750 restaurants. So to say that we're entrenched in the uh, food franchise business is probably an understatement. Um, we also uh, are members of the uh, NFCA, which is the National Franchise Consultants Alliance. It's a, a nine member firms that service McDonald's franchisees. We share best practices. We have meetings with McDonald's corporate finance team, um, understanding some of the economic policies that are being um, um, pushed down through the system. Um, so we're kind of at the forefront of what's going on there. Um, with regard to the restaurant business here in Massachusetts, uh, that's been my focus lately. Um, I joined the, uh, joined the Mass Restaurant Association two years ago, uh, networked with uh, many people there within the organization, and uh, two weeks ago just got inducted as a uh, director of the Mass Restaurant Association. So that's I'm on the that's board. fabulous. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. And what kind of initiatives and things are you hoping to do with them so, in conjunction with Gray, Gray, and Gray? Yeah, no, absolutely. So um, I, I've served on the um, a subcommittee of the Mass Restaurant Association for the last two years, which is the Education Committee. And um, one of our primary focuses is pushing, pushing down education to restaurant tours. Um, we have an annual event, um, usually held in the fall. Well, last year we had one very, very successful, uh, attended by over 100 members, and um, providing that financial education uh, that, that we feel restaurateurs need. A lot of restaurateurs are operationally uh, proficient. Um, they get the operations of the business, but you know they maybe don't have finance degrees or accounting degrees and they somehow struggle um, you know, with that side of the business. So firms like Gray, Gray & Gray, the Mass Restaurant Association, they're there to help uh, restaurant tours in that, in that arena. So I I'm opening up a new restaurant, uh, say it's in Canton, Massachusetts, where you're located. What kinds of things can Gray, Gray & Gray uh, do specifically in financial control, accounting, um, keeping track of payroll, tax compliance, what, what kinds of things can you guys uh, uh, go and why, why should somebody go with Gray, Gray and Gray versus somebody else? So uh, that's a great question and um, so the best way to answer that one is that uh, we have a dedicated team of people that work strictly within the restaurant business, restaurant industry. Um, they know what a restaurant balance sheet and p and is supposed to look like. Um, they understand the business. Uh, they have uh, the technical training behind uh, what it takes to to have a good understanding of the financial side of the business. Um, you know, we provide that training as well. Uh, we we expose many of our team members to to outside uh, training opportunities where they get specific restaurant training, uh, what we call CPE. But you know, soup to nuts for a restaurant tour. Um, we'll start out with you know basic bookkeeping functions if that's what they need, uh, right through to uh, full accounting services, um, preparing. Uh, financial statements as regularly as they want them. In most cases that could be monthly, it could be quarterly, it could be semi-annually. Um, you know, we encourage our restaurateurs and uh, owners of restaurants to have regular financial data that is accurate and that is prepared timely uh, because historical data doesn't really mean much, mm -hmm. right? So at the end of the day you really have to be attuned to what's going on.